I get asked this question on a regular basis, so I thought I'd finally update on my supplement routine. If you don't know who I am, my name's Nick. I earned my PhD in molecular medicine and I analyze studies for a living. So I've chosen these supplements because they have a ton of scientific evidence behind them and they serve my goals well. First thing, I wake up and I drizzle a little creatine on my eyeballs. All right. I'll be serious. Yes, creatine is a favorite of mine. Who would have thought? I've only released the most videos and analyses on creatine of any supplement. Creatine is beneficial for my muscle performance when I'm hitting that iron, and it also improves mental performance. It's an incredible molecule, and I'll link videos to some of my analyses on the topic in the pinned comment. Also, there's no evidence that it causes hair loss, I have a video on the science of that, and it also doesn't harm the kidneys. I have a video on the science of that. I'll link both in the pinned comment too. <laughs> For a laugh, there's a comment someone posted several days ago under one of my videos. It's especially comical considering that I wrote uh, my one book on that singular molecule. Anyway, I take five grams per day, sometimes more. Uh, I'm not loyal to any brand. You could call me a rogue agent for the cheapest price. I take creatine monohydrate and I take it whenever my brain kicks in to remind me. My second supplement is omega-3s. Again, a lot of evidence behind them for the heart and the brain. I have videos on both from the clinical data to the mechanistic data pinned below as well. I don't take much, just one pill and I'm currently using life extension. But again, I have no affiliation to that brand. They just put a cool five mil in my bank account and wrote me saying, do the right thing or else. Anyway, great brand. I suppose I should disclose that was a joke. Sometimes I make jokes like being sponsored by Pepsi and people will actually think that I'm being serious. It's happened many times. I'm sponsored by no one. Except the Physionic Insiders. Come on, that was an apt transition. I am a crowdfunded dude. If you like my work and care to support me, that's the best place to do it. The link's in the description. It keeps Big Pepsi out of these videos. But <laughs> this isn't a charity. I actually offer a lot of value over there, or at least I like to think that I do as a one-man operation. Releasing two to three research reviews per week, two to three videos per week, a monthly podcast, live sessions to discuss science together, and more. Anyway, check it out. But, you know, no pressure. You skipped too far. Hold on. We have to wait for the people who skipped my insider advertisement to come back. Maybe I should just like put something on the screen so that they know where to tune in again. Here we go. The third supplement is a multivitamin. I usually break these in half because my nutrition is quite nutritious. Don't ask me what it is. I make a point not to say, as I've seen plenty of other health influencer types that I genuinely respect to mention what they eat and then everything that they say gets ignored from that point onward by some. A shame, but... That's the reality. People are always looking for ways to dismiss a person's interpretation of the data and dismiss them as biased. Anyway, again, I just take a one a day, half a multivitamin. As a kid, I used to eat those uh, Flintstone vitamins, but ever since I grew up into a big boy, I had to learn how to swallow pills like a real man. I may switch to gummies. The fourth supplement is lutein and zeaxanthin. Technically two molecules, but they're packaged as one. Again, there's some great evidence behind them, at least for your eyes. I don't know if you've noticed, but I wear glasses and I'm constantly on the computer doing work for you guys. So it's just a good way for me to keep my eye health in check. I also do some basic eye exercises whenever I remember, which is about once every four months. I take one pill from a life extension again. Have I mentioned how great they are? Again, unaffiliated. I also take collagen peptides. I use 10 grams, again, from whatever brand is the cheapest, and I largely take it for my skin. And I imagine that as I get older, it'll probably, or hopefully, aid in joint health as well. Oh, in addition, in colder months only, I take the lowest dose that I can find of vitamin D3, I'm a sunscreen fanatic to keep me looking 35, although I'm 94, and I also have a contempt for cancer. As a result, my blood vitamin D levels have been known to drop during that time. That's why I supplement. Someone probably already wrote how sunlight is good for you, sunscreen is toxic, 
and uh, 5 billion IUs of vitamin D will turn you into a god. Uh, if you could uh, do me a favor, look at your keyboard, locate the backspace button, and click it to empty. I'd appreciate it. On to the next one. The next supplement is nothing. That's it. Sometimes I'll take some rhodiola rosea when I'm a bit stressed, but otherwise, th 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 that's all, folks. In the end, I cover a lot of supplements in my analyses because people want to hear more about supplements than anything else. And I do think that supplements can help, but although I've covered so many, like glycine, taurine, lion's mane, berberine, and many more, the reality is that supplements aren't going to change the world for many people. And supplement stacks will depend on need. For example, I wouldn't tell a person on a plant-based diet that consumes a lot of kale to consume lutein and zeaxanthin because they already get a lot. Or if I were pre-diabetic, I'd probably add something like curcumin. Or if I were a triathlete, I'd likely add electrolytes. Or if I had high blood pressure, I'd add a partial potassium chloride salt. The point is, the point being, there's a lot of nuance on the individual level. So while yes, I think that creatine, omega-3s, and possibly a multivitamin would offer small to moderate benefit to almost everyone, these supplements aren't rules. You can add or subtract based on what you deem fits your lifestyle and your goals. I still think that exercise, nutrition, stress management, social interactions, and sleep are the biggest pillars to successfully keeping your body healthy. And if people want more supplement videos, I'll just keep cranking them out. In fact, I have a list of all the supplements that I've covered doses and which ones would be best in particular needs in my Physiotic Insiders membership. Just another reason to join. Anyway, I cover more on supplements right here as well. Thanks for tuning in. I introduced the end screen prematurely. So I kind of have to awkwardly stand here until you click on one. Oh, I know. I'll add this. That's all, folks.